This video outlines the shading techniques successfully implemented by dental arts laboratories for both the Cubex 2 and BioZX2 zirconia products. In your starter kit, you will find a shading guide for both the Cubex 2 and BioZX zirconias. Although the guide states that you should dip the Cubex 2 one shade darker than the shade you are trying to achieve, we have found this not to be true through everyday use of products in our laboratory. We recommend you use the desired liquid for the shade you are trying to achieve. On the left is the Red Dentin Shading Liquid. These liquids are available in 16 different shades. The yellow liquid on the right is the incisal liquid. The incisal liquid is used to reduce the amount of dentin shading liquid saturation by the zirconia during the dipping process. The processing gives the Cubex 2 and BioZX2 the multichromatic layering effect they are known for. You first want to apply the incisal liquid to any areas where less dentin color saturation is desired. When processing a posterior crown or bridge, paint the cusp tip with the incisal liquid. When painting the incisal liquid on an anterior crown, apply to both the facial and lingual incisal areas. Once you have painted the restoration, it is time to dip the crown in the shading liquid. Be sure to use tweezers to prevent the liquid from splashing. When the crown is completely submerged in the shading liquid, we recommend it remain undisturbed for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, using the tweezers, remove the crown from the liquid and place it onto a glass plate. A paper towel should not be used as it will absorb the shading liquid from the crown. At this point, the excess dentin shading liquid needs to be removed. Using a cotton swab, Carefully blot the crown until all excess liquid has been removed. Flip the crown and do the same on the occlusal surface. Dental Direct also manufactures a tissue shade for full contour hybrid zirconia bridges. This liquid is applied to the tissue area of the bridge using a micro brush. We recommend a total of three applications for optimal absorption of the appropriate liquid. Once the tissue shading has been completed, it is time to apply the incisal shading liquid to the incisal areas of the bridge. Next, it is time to apply the dentin shading liquid to complete the shading process. During application, take care not to paint the tissue portion of the bridge. Once all areas of the bridge have been treated, the bridge is ready for sintering. You may have noticed the support bars that are attached to the lingual of the bridge. These bars prevent the bridge from warping during the sintering process. When sintering, we recommend running only two bridges per cycle to ensure the furnace is heating consistently. For further instructions or questions, feel free to contact us at 1-888 894-2148.